Hello YouTube and uh, welcome to my video on my opinions of UK knife law. Now I've done a video on what UK knife law actually is, um, what, what, what it says, and a part I want to emphasize, em, emphasize from that is um, the intent within the law. The law looks upon anything you intend to use to hurt someone, anything you intend to cause harm, as an offensive weapon. And this means that anything from a simple pen knife to a bottle can be seen as an offensive weapon. I mean, I don't think anyone would use a nice real ale to bottle someone, but if they did, that would be an offensive weapon, even though it, it's not considered an offensive weapon normally. The, the intent is there, and that makes it an offensive weapon. And the rest of the law covers specifically things like daggers and um, modified things, baseball bats with nails in, that sort of thing. Um, now, I don't particularly like this part of the law because um, if the intent is there, I think that should be the crime. If the police officer considers you have the intent, then there's the crime. But um, just possession. Just possession seems a bit silly to me, um, because you, you cover an awful lot of useful tools under that classification. This, for example, if I was carrying that in the street, I'd get done for having an offensive weapon. But if I wasn't menacing anyone, if I wasn't causing any trouble, if wh wh where is the harm in an object until I start doing stuff? Punish me, the criminal and not the object. That's that's the way I look at it. And um, that that's the way I think it should be seen. Knife laws in the UK have, have, have been coming in for the past sort of 50 odd years. They're not a new thing. Knife crime in the UK isn't a new thing. Um, it, it all starts with the teddy boys and their flick knives, and flick knives get banned. You know, it, it's ostensibly not possible to get flick knives in the UK. I know for a fact that you can, but it, it's not meant to be technically possible to do so. So, what difference does it make? Because the fact that a knife doesn't open like that, a knife, this, this is a legal knife with a thumb break, but it, it's, it's still a knife. I mean, do, do you know what most thugs carry on the streets? Kitchen knife, from your kitchen. It, 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 it's or even better, a big kitchen knife from your kitchen. It, it's not hard to find a knife to use as a weapon. Um, the banning of certain kinds of knives does nothing to prevent knife crime. And indeed, the, 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 restrictions, the restrictions we have right now do nothing to prevent knife crime, and more knife laws will do nothing to prevent them. Did the original Offensive Weapons Act is what you need. Um, we need more police with the time to be able to do this sort of thing, not distracted by having to do a load of government paperwork and bureaucracy. Um, but on the whole, these knife laws make very little sense in terms of preventing crime. We, we keep getting more and more to make people feel better when there's a cry from the tabloids and, and the public on this horrible knife crime, which usually hasn't been any worse or so in that particular year. It's just that the new media has decided to focus on it, that, 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 that then there's more limitations. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll do a separate video on self-defence and things, because self-defence is one of the things that's never a reasonable cause for carrying a knife. I that, that, that's, um, I mentioned the other videos, you, you, to carry something you have to have a reasonable excuse in the eyes of the law. And one of the things that's uh, never a reasonable excuse in the eyes of the law is self-defence, which I'll, I'll do a whole other video on self-defence. How I feel about it and what I think should be done. But in the UK, I think um, stopping carrying these knives is car carrying a knife is not a problem. Someone carrying a knife is, is doing no harm. It's when they use the knife that's the crime. And I feel that this is should be you should punish people using the knives. Um, if there was the, the, the problem is people willing to use them. Um, I went to a very large high school, uh, the biggest in the county actually, and we had a fair proportion of people who were yobs, were, were, were thugs. Uh, you'd call them chavs now, I mean, 
and I called them townies, but I was a yokel, so what can you do? <laughs> but um, as someone was stabbed in my school, I've been held up at knife points several times. I mean, it, it's, it's not an insignificant problem, but it's not a problem that's going to be cured by these knife controls. Um, I carried a pen knife every day of me. I've, I've carried a pen knife for as long as I can remember. And I've never stabbed anyone. I've never wanted to stab anyone. I mean, there's people I've not liked, people I've wished they would go away, but I've never seriously wanted to stab one. Not even when I've been seriously angry or when I've suffered racial attacks and abuse. It's, I've never done it. And it's not... It, it, it's the people who do things that you need to control and punish. So that's my opinion on knife laws. Um, I do have one last thing. Which are the knife laws are nonsensical in they ban a safety feature and let me show it to you. You watch the little bit of metal as as it opens. You see? That little clicking thing there is what makes this knife more illegal to carry, because it's it's too big to carry under the current laws anyway, without it being without reasonable excuse. And um it's 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 a lock, a mechanical lock, as as you can see, when 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 from the knife opens fully, it locks down, stopping the blade shutting on your hand. And if you've ever had a knife shut on your hand, it's not pleasant. It's a safety feature that is banned under these silly laws. So, yeah, that's my opinion on the UK knife laws, and um, to fix them, allow the police to use their discretion to remove people who are using anything as an offensive weapon rather than punishing individual items which are useful tools. Thanks very much, YouTube, and uh, goodbye.